Good. Good. That was a good transition. And now do it again. Almost to walk. And go out. Yep, that was right. Yes. Give him one push and then relax your leg. Yes. And now again, come back in. And go out. Yep. And come back in. Carefully, you don't get back too much in your upper body. And go out. Good. And come back in again. And go out. That's better. There he gets quicker. Good. Okay. And now come back in. And make a walk transition. Good. Okay. Give him a little break. Good job. On the outside. But yeah, good. Because in the canter, we engage the outside hind. And in the trot and walk the inside, right? Okay. Good. So now bring him back a little bit more. Take him a bit more out of his comfort zone when you make the transition. In the shoulder in. Left leg, left bend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And trot. Good. Okay. And now again, you make a little bit shoulder in. And then I want you to try like a little half pass to the left. Good. And a shoulder in. Good. Run over the lady there. And then a half pass. Good. Like just enough until you feel if he falls through the left leg, then you push him over again. Yeah. Tiny bit straighter through your right rein. Well, now he wants the counter canter. <laughs> yeah, push him over. Almost have to think pushing his haunches out. Good, good. And then a small half pass. Good. And shoulder in. Good. Okay, that's exactly it. All right, now we're going to change rein. And now if you haven't already, you can take your whip to the right hand and we do the same thing with the shoulder in. Good. Work the right hind leg. Try not to block him through the right rein. If he falls left, make a little counter bend, almost like a Ron Bear a few strides until he comes more through again. And then you repeat the shoulder in. That's right. Good. Yeah, the trot is good. Again, little neck crane of the shoulder. Good. Good. And now bring him back. Make the trot quicker and smaller. Good, good, good. And go out. Yep, yep. Well done. That was really good. And through the short side, Daniel, if you feel that he falls left, ride more of a counter bend through the short side. Get the throughness back through the short side. Yeah, that's a good trot. Excellent. And bring him back again. Push him out of the comfort zone. Quicker, quicker, quicker. And out. Well done. Forward and counter bend. Yep, push him off that left side. Yeah, there you go. Good. Another exercise you can do on the long side is like a little leg yielding on the wall, right? Flex him left and push him a little bit off that left leg more. Yeah, but make him a bit more parallel. So more time and then a small half pass to the right. Again, you don't need to do a full on half pass, okay? Just like a few strides. Just touch, yeah, touch on it. Little bend, good. And you sit with him to the right, good. And shoulder in right. Exactly. Exactly. That's all you're looking for is that he really listens to the inside leg and he moves sideways. 